Detroit All-Star Garage Rock Punk Review, a celebration of the underground side of Detroit music. After two years off due to COVID, the event is back and bigger than ever as a weekend festival at the Kaju Cafe. The event is organized by musician Smith E. Smitty of Detroit's Figures on a Beach and will be hosted by radio icon and former WDET Radios in Motion host Michael Halloran. There is no music scene that even comes close to what the Detroit music scene is. It's like, you know, and I've been around the world and visited every city. Detroit, without any question, is the number one music scene on the planet. Everybody else is fighting for second place. I am so lucky and fortunate to have been raised in Detroit during that, you know, late 50s, all through the 60s, 70s, 80s. The Detroit scene was like off the charts. Detroit was always on the map because of its music scene, but the Detroit bands that were existing at the time were completely radically different, I think, than what was happening in Cleveland with the Dead Boys and Chicago. Detroit has kind of a, um, a brand on it. Uh, it can be raw, hard, uh, compelling rock and roll, uh, over the top sometimes, and that punk rock scene then was, was surely all of that, but it was even more. I was listening to an interview that Barry Gordy uh, gave when he was talking about why Motown songs sounded the way they did. And it's because when he was working in the factories, there was something about the stamping, you know, the, the big machines that were doing all this work that had a rhythm that got stuck in his head, which basically became that whole boxer beat four on the floor, you know, pat, 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 and pat, and pat. Pat. Richie, our drummer in the plugs, worked at Gear and Axel. So as the drummer and hearing, you know, kong, 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 you have this rhythmic thing. So when you form a band, you're going to have a, a thing that is in your life that basically drives your soul. And with Richie, it was that factory type thing. And I don't want to say it's industrial, but it was really just hard hitting. Industry, blue collar, hard working. It's that kind of energy and um, I don't know, just sort of the, the rock and roll ethic. The MC5 and the Stooges, anywhere but Michigan, and they're not happening. And that's in essence why Radios in Motion was born. A lot of these bands from back in the day, I tried to play on the radio as much as possible. They were the people that were making Detroit cool and different. It was a, a point of pride with me that Detroit had not stopped when Motown moved. It is this underground music history that will be celebrated on August 19th and 20th on the outdoor stage at the Kaju Cafe with a lineup of bands spanning four decades of Detroit punk, rock, and indie music. The first one was really was a celebration. I didn't really have anything in mind other than getting a bunch of old school friends of mine from back in the punk days, late 70s, 80s. And the moment we decided we were gonna do a second one, uh, it was kind of like, okay, well, we did the one where we had mostly the old guard. Now I really wanna go after some of the new and young bands that are happening in the Detroit music scene. You kind of realize that that thread that started in the early scene, you know, Mutants, Cold Cock, RUR, uh, Cinecide, were kind of like the beginning of a thread to me that we were able to attach ourselves on and then slowly move down. And then other bands came along, Vertical Pillows. But that thread just keeps going. Sometimes it gets super thin. Sometimes it gets fattened up. There's always, you know, somebody stepping up and going, hey, I've got something to say too. And I think Smitty, and I know myself, were we're the mind and it's like, yeah, let's hear what you have to say. Yes, yes, yes. More, more, more. There's a total, hold on to your seat, a total of 21 bands. It is eclectic. I mean, you've got uh, folky influence like Audra Kubat or, um, you know, you have on the other end the amino acids, which is kind of like this, this kind of compelling punk surf band. Uh, you've got the 3D Invisibles, uh, you know, and then then flipping over, you've got Nikki Corvette. It's not an all-star show if it doesn't have uh, Cinecide. And of course, everyone knows Mary Cobra from uh, the, the Detroit Cobras. And with the passing of uh, Rachel Nagy, it was kind of like, oh, geez, you know, 
Mary, people love you. They want to see you perform. You know, what are you doing? And then she told me about her band, Gigi. And, you know, Gigi, they may have only done like one, maybe two performances. So they're like brand new. And so she said, okay, Smitty, if Gigi's going to do it, I want to see Sugar Tradition on this bill. I want to see Billy Swibs and his operatives on this bill. I want to see War Horses, The Hourlies. Smitty's in a couple, couple of the bands. He's got Little Boy Lost and uh smitty smitty in the fez tones that leans more into my like the art school guy starting a band and i probably have more in common with like sparks and the b-52s and devo because there is definitely an art element if you look at all of these this list of bands i think one of the most important things about it is the school of rock in farmington to me i want to see the new generation the Farmington Hills School of Rock Band will produce one member. We don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. Nobody knows who it is, who is going to go on and revolutionize the way music is done. And it's the new Prince. It's the new, you know, St. Vincent. It's the new, whatever it is. Because that's, what, that's where it comes from. The youth, the youth of America. This is like Detroit's finest. Whether they've been around forever or just, you know, popped up within the last year or two, if you don't, even if you don't know 90%, oh, even if you don't know 100% of the bands that are on the bill, it's going to blow you away. I mean, this is like, oh, this came from Detroit? You know, this, this isn't from LA? This isn't from London? This isn't from New York? You know, it's like, no, this is all Detroit. Detroit.